It's morning on Mars. The sun is 140 million miles away, but strong enough to send current flowing through the solar panels of the rover called Opportunity, waking it up for another day of work. Opportunity got off to a quick start, landing in January 2004 after a seven-month journey to Mars. Touching down in a region called Meridiani Planum, it bounced across the plane in its airbag cocoon. By chance, it rolled into a shallow crater. At JPL, they waited for the first pictures. As opportunity emerged from its protective shell, We open our eyes, and there's this astounding outcrop of layered bedrock right in front of the vehicle. Did we come in the crater? Mars has been a frigid desert for billions of years, but satellite images suggest that liquid water once flowed across the surface. From orbit, though, it's hard to tell whether it was an environment that could have supported life. How much water was there? What was its chemistry? Suppose you were a microbe, would you have liked that place or not? If so, why? The rovers are field geologists designed to read clues to the environment of early Mars preserved in the rocks and minerals. Each has a toolkit on its robotic arm to grind off the weathered surface of rocks and analyze their composition. They see the world in three dimensions with four pairs of stereo cameras. Opportunity goes to work, looking for evidence of ancient water, and over a few weeks, makes a series of startling discoveries. It was like being inside this bizarre Martian mystery novel, where every sol or two you get a new clue handed to you. First, come tiny spheres the size of BBs, littering the ground and embedded in the outcrop, like blueberries in a muffin. It was such a surprise. I mean, what the heck were those things? The instruments find that they're made of an iron mineral called hematite. On Earth, it forms spheres like these in water-soaked rocks, like pearls and oysters. And finally, evidence of ripples created by water flowing across the surface, frozen in time as the sand turned to stone. The clues add up to a place where salty water, virtually sulfuric acid, once soaked the ground and sometimes flowed across the surface. On Earth, microbial life can thrive in places like this. There wasn't a single one of us who expected what we found. Anybody who tells you so is lying. It was a new Mars. If Opportunity's mission had ended here, it would have been a great success. But now the rover heads for a bigger, deeper crater nearby, which could expose even more bedrock. As we went deeper, the chemistry and the texture of the rocks changed dramatically in a way that indicated to us that the deeper rocks had been soaked in water for a long period of time. It now appears that the water at Meridiani may have lasted hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. The gamble to go into the crater definitely paid off scientifically. It really, really improved our understanding of what we were dealing with here. You know, at this point, every day is a gift. We just push the vehicles as hard as we can, um, enjoy them while we got them, and someday they're gonna die, and I don't know when. However this adventure ends, their legacy is assured. They've returned hundreds of thousands of images, enough data on Martian water history to keep scientists busy for decades, and their most important work may be yet to come.